It's going to be a very, very close race. I think they're terrible choices that we're being presented with. And that's just the, the fate of that's what the primary voters selected. And I, I regret the fact that that's that's where we are. You had said that he's a populist and an authoritarian narcissist, that character is too important to me. And it's a job that requires the kind of character he just doesn't have. That's pretty strong. Yeah, that's that's the way I feel. I agree with that. Former House Speaker Paul Ryan appearing on Fox News criticized Donald Trump as unfit for office and described him as an anti-establishment Republican. Ryan expressed regret over the upcoming election choices, stating he wouldn't vote for Biden due to policy disagreements. Ryan also clarified he has no personal animus towards Trump, but views Trump as the current establishment within the party and a man unfit morally for office. So what's going Going on here? Why air this opinion on Fox News, a network normally quite in the bag and kissing up to Trump as his lead sycophant as far as an establishment? Well, here's one thought about that that could perhaps explain why suddenly Fox is turning on their guy. Paul Ryan, who is a board member at Fox, has reemerged in the public sphere to openly criticize Trump. I just don't like the way he makes decisions. All right, well, he doesn't like you either. Yeah, um, when he that. heard your comments, he, he posted this on Truth Social last month. Rupert Murdoch should fire this pathetic rhino, Paul Ryan, <laughs> from the board of Fox. He said that Ryan is a loser, always has been, always will be. He was the weakest and most incompetent speaker of the House in its history. That's Fox something. will sink to the yeah. absolute bottom of the pack if Paul Ryan has anything to do with it. You do serve on our board yep. of directors, so he's saying you shouldn't. So what's the plan behind this move? Could it be an attempt to make it acceptable to oppose Trump on air on Fox, particularly coming from an establishment Republican like Ryan, who carries a lot of gravitas, still has a lot of respect in the Republican Party, whatever's left of the traditional Republican Party. It could be a signal from the traditional wing of the Republican Party to start distancing themselves from Trump. The implication might be that if Trump remains the face of the party with a win in 24, the MAGA wing will be taking over the party permanently, kicking out the old guard for good. The old guard Republicans bye-bye, as well as eradicating the quote-unquote sane principles of the right. This means less Mitt Romneys and more Marjorie Taylor Greens. Now, obviously, I'm no fan of either, but if I had to choose, well, I think the choice is clear for any of us. And you can see why that would disturb Fox News board members and traditional Republicans like Paul Ryan to get a lot more MTGs and a lot less Mitt Romneys. To Ryan, this election isn't just picking the leader of the United States, the leader of the world. It's also, and probably more importantly for him and for them, it's deciding if the party of Reagan will forever become the party of Trump. It's about whether they get to retain power or lose their grip of power to a more extreme wing. Something a growing number of Republicans are against. I mean, now, a little late, but you do you, boo, I suppose. Of course, it's not really for moral reasons that he is doing this, that they may be doing this again, I remind you. I remind you again also that Paul Ryan voted for Trump in 2016 when he had the same morals, and those moral failures were already very clear. Still voted for the dude. The establishment just doesn't want to lose what remaining morsels of power they have left. You also see regular Republican voters having a change of heart. My name is Paul Weaver. I live in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania, and I voted for Trump in 2016. I can't support Trump anymore because he's shown himself to be a reprehensible human being. I voted for Trump in 2016, but I will never vote for him again. He is the antithesis of who we need to have running our country. If we have him, we are going to be in trouble because he doesn't believe in the rule of law, for one thing. He believes in everything is about him. It really is a travesty. From a financial perspective, it benefits Fox News to both broadcast Trump's rhetoric now for ratings during the campaign, and then to criticize Biden in the coming years if he wins. As they've been doing so successfully, Fox News' lifeblood is attacking Biden for every single thing he says and does. And after what we saw in the debate, well... They would obviously have so much more fodder for doing exactly that. As I think it's clear to anyone who saw it, he no longer has the capacity he once did, and that's being incredibly generous, as I do believe the only hope for the Democrats to actually beat Trump would be for Biden to step down for the good of the country. And Trump losing this election, in whatever way that happens, could pave the way possibly for old-school Republicans 
to run for president in 2028, potentially selected by influential figures within the party who, you know, also happen to have the blessings of certain board members of Fox News, and whose policies we may not like, but at the very least would not be compulsive, lying, cheating, borderline personality disorder, malignant narcissist, convicted felon traitors. You know, at least not the worst versions of that. To me, it seems like a strategic maneuver. We're witnessing seasoned Republicans who owe much of their careers to the support of Fox News that are now in higher paying positions exerting influence in any way they can. Their goal seems to be ensuring Trump's defeat. While this doesn't mean they're supporting Biden, which would also help Trump win, by the way, if they actually care about the details, but they can't bring themselves to vote for Biden or a Democrat in any way. But Fox News, with its large, loyal audience, many of whom are tired of Trump, stands to gain viewership by critiquing Biden and having that be their job again for the next four years. This strategy, seemingly driven publicly now on air by Paul Ryan, sure it has uncertain prospects. It's a reminder that even if profit remains Fox News' only motivator, there is a real and true existential threat posed by a second Donald Trump term. Fascism, dictatorship, losing so many more of our rights, losing what remains of this nation, of what this nation is supposed to be. The costs are too high, and... As we saw from the Supreme Court's decision just yesterday, giving the President of the United States king-like powers and immunity from most acts that a president carries out, as long as they're called official acts, and we know Donald Trump will exploit that to the most egregious and grave for the future of our nation and for all of us living in this country. Well, we can't let it happen. Again, the costs are too high. So wherever criticism of Trump comes from, wherever it comes from the right, Whatever the motivation, we should welcome it. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. You can follow me at Ben Glebe on Instagram.